unfasted today. We're doing legs fasted. I got my BCAAs, I got my XL, I took my Thrive, I took my Stamina, I took my Boost. So the pump is primed. Come on, let's do some old school. Start off outside. This is gonna be our warm up. First set, you're gonna go 10 reps. Straight? Straight up. Feet pointing straight up. Okay. All right. Single leg, 10. Ooh. It's a little sticky. Remember that guy, John, that won the classic pose off? Yeah. You'll end up looking like him. Yeah. You guys have a similar build. Easy, easy. Get a good tempo. So my question for you guys is, of all the episodes we've done, what's your favorite? Shame on you if you haven't watched at least one. So swipe up, go to YouTube. But I want to know what's your favorite of them all, all the way back to the first episode we did back. We've done that a couple of times. I mean, we've covered a lot of ground. Just enough pump into quads. They're a little warm. Keep this down. Oh. Touch your... That's it right there. Oh. You feel that right here. Yep. Outer sweep. Oh. Bring your leg higher up. Like that? Yeah. Ready? Oh. Go. Oh. I got it. Four. Two. 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 Oh. Uh. All right, so on my last post on IG, I want you guys to swipe up, go there. I said something about getting uncomfortable. You guys think that that was meant for you. That was meant for me. The video was meant for you, but that whole thing was meant for me. Let's do it today. Let's get uncomfortable, swipe up, check it, and leave a comment. Come on, push through your heel. Come on. It's too late. Just keep going, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. Good, good, good. Look, you're etching that detail, that's it. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. I should have had a rice cake. Hmm. Huh? Now, Time to do a front squat. Okay. Yeah, make sure you grab the bar. See if you can get your fist on it. Get a grip on it on both sides. It's on your shoulders. You there? Yeah, it's good. Okay. How's the legs? Keep it steady, you're good. Keep your elbows up. Make sure that bar's choking you. Push through your heels. That's it, good, perfect. You'd swear this was a beach body commercial. Look how good he looks. Push through those heels. You know, it's crazy if you look at how good his form is, you can tell by how close the cables are to parallel. If he was sloppy, the cables would be all over the place. Through the heels, there you go. Oh yeah, we're working, we're working. So have you noticed we're starting to move from the outside of the quad toward the inside? So we're hitting all those angles. Yeah, outside, warm up, outside, a little inside. inside. And then my guess is some abductor stuff yeah. to, work the, to work the thighs. All right, let's get a little bit of hip action going before we uh, kill you for the finisher. So your abductors and abductors are your stabilizer muscles from that last exercise. Yeah. Now it's going, what are you doing? Because now they're getting the blunt of it. It's the opposite around. The quads can't help. We should do a holiday workout. We should ask if they, if they want to do a calorie burning, a recovery. There's a couple different ones I have. It looks really big, but it's not. On, on IG, if you guys are not following me on IG, Morelli's World, we'll drop a link in here. I dropped a video today that says, everybody leave it all on the gym floor. Get uncomfortable. Let's learn. Let's grow. Let's adapt. Let's push. Let's get uncomfortable. Let's fucking go. And uh, now that I'm thinking it through, that was actually, that was actually my video for me today. Whoa. Almost there, ah. almost there, almost there. Come on, come on, come on. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. One more. All right, cross the drop, let it fall back. Yeah. Yeah, see that? That was a road commercial right there. Uh. <laughs> 
the workout that benefits everybody. One more, one more, one more. That's it, CrossFit drop. Yeah. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty smart. Let, let the lactic acid settle out. You got 10 minutes. So now you've seen exactly what happens when you go backwards with abductors. That's why we always do them first. So this is why old school stuff works to an extent. But you see how hard you pushed yourself through it? Now, if we would have done bands and get the abductors a little bit more warm, then you would have seen a difference. Q&A time, we're gonna take two questions from YouTube, one from Snapchat. From those of you who are not on Snapchat yet, make sure you click the link below or on this video. Get over to our Snapchat, add us, because every single day we drop new workouts and you're missing them if you're not there. Freddie, what's the first question? So what's your opinion on reverse dieting after a cut or should you go straight into a bulk? Okay, so the question is a lot of people fall off this time of the year. The reality is, is that people fall off any given time during the year and it's about staying focused it's about really understanding why we do this it's not just to look good if it's just to look good that's when we start to lose motivation because it doesn't happen fast enough but when we realize the value of our health right when we realize that we're doing this because we want to live longer we want to live more vibrantly we want to live without uh, medicine and the use of oxygen tanks and we don't want to be crippled and and on the the walker with the tennis balls when we get older we want to be able to stand upright we want to have posture when we realize that we're doing it for those reasons we stay motivated and we stay the course now Freddie's question was should we reverse diet? If we just came off a cut, should we reverse diet? And the, the, the truth for me in this is that I don't have very much experience in the reverse dieting world. I stay, uh, stay, stay very close to whole foods from as close to nature as possible. So I don't do the reverse dieting in the bulk phases and all these different phases. I eat whole foods from as close to nature as possible. When I'm trying to gain weight, I eat more of those whole foods. Staying really, really clean, I don't put on a lot of body fat ever. The reverse is true when I'm trying to cut. I just cut those foods and because they're really clean already, I start to drop body fat. So I don't believe in the, the reverse, the, the backwards, the forwards, the loading and all of that. I believe staying the course, I believe staying consistent and staying motivated, eating whole foods from as close to nature as possible, supplementing with the cleanest, which is, which is my line and that's why I created it, supplementing with the cleanest supplements on the planet and staying consistent with your training. That's what I believe. Freddie, second question. I can't afford much of the supplements to eat because I want to gain some muscle naturally. But can you suggest what to use any kind of food we can find in a local market easily to use as supplement diet? Okay, so this person can't afford supplements. And the reality is that you don't need supplements. Supplements are just that. They supplement a whole foods diet. So this person wants to either gain or cut. It really doesn't matter what you want to do. It's about choosing clean whole foods. So let's say this person wants to gain and they can't afford a creatine, they can't afford a protein supplement, they can't afford a BCAA. Go for lean meats, right? Eat lean meat, whole foods from as close to nature as possible. Everybody thinks, oh my gosh, if I don't supplement, I'm not going to get the gains. No. If you don't eat whole foods, if you don't dial your nutrition in, you won't see the gains. Supplements are just a Let's call it icing on the cake. They take you from here to here, but here, from here to here, is all nutrition. It's just the extra umph that supplementation comes in and really starts to you know, foster new growth, if you will. All right, last question from Snapchat, this one, you guys. I need help with motivation for my workouts. Any ideas? My biggest hurdle is working out at 3.30 a.m. It's the only time I have. All right, so this person is lacking motivation, and here's what I'm gonna say to the people that are lacking motivation. All right, how hard, how much motivation would you need if you had diabetes? How much motivation would you need if you had some metabolic disorder or an autoimmune disorder? How much more motivation would it take if you were hooked up to a fucking oxygen tank? How much more motivation would it take if you had seven, if you had to be on seven different medications because you didn't get in the gym, because you didn't move, because you didn't eat whole foods from as close to nature as possible, because you didn't supplement with the cleanest of the clean? How much motivation would you need then? Right? Motivation now, if you are living, breathing, you're not hooked up to oxygen tanks, and you're watching this video and it's just a, a mindset thing, put your fucking head in the game and understand that this, we do this 
we do this so that we don't have to worry about motivation later because we can't get to the gym or we're too heavy or we've got diabetes or heart disease, right? Put yourself in the game. If 3.30 a.m. is your time, then 3.30 a.m. is your time. You've got to get in here. You've got to get focused. You've got to get it done so that you can live a happier, healthier, more vibrant life now and in the future. We don't think about when we're 60, 80, 90 years old. We think about now, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, I feel good, I wake up fine, yeah, I'll just eat this bag of chips, I'll just do this, I won't go to the gym. It's gonna catch up to you. And before it's too late, you take action now. That's my motivation, let's go. I wanna close it by saying, ow! Ow! I didn't feel like that, I didn't feel like that was a lot today. Like in my mind, I didn't feel like it was a lot. My body is telling me it was a lot. And just for kicks and giggles, we're gonna drop some boost and some more stamina. I'm going to the aquarium with the kids and I wanna make it through that. Stay tuned, stamina and boost drop very soon.